Are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rahman and Friends! Coming to you live and direct from Dahran, Saudi Arabia! Dahran SAA presents with co sponsors NTP, Rahman and Friends, live in Dahran. Have I said Dahran enough times there? Starring Mr. Omar Hussein! Mr. Rami Salameh. Then for the first time in Eastern Province, Mr. Omar Ramzi. And then your friend and mine, Mr. Hussein Muhammad. All the way from Bahrain, Ali Fingers. Then it's Mr. Marito Man himself, KK Khalid Khalifa. And headlining the show today is the inimitable Mr. Fahad Al Muldari. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto stage Mr. Rahman Akhtar. Good evening, good evening, good evening. How excited are we? Salaamu Alaikum. <laughs> oh good, I love the Thursday crowd. The, thir the Wednesday crowd is the win-win crowd, you know? If the comedy show is crap, we've still got the whole weekend to look forward to. <laughs> if, if they're good, then we've had a great start to the weekend. <laughs> How the devil are you? Good? I'm asking this, really good. My, I, 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 Rahman Akhtar, and let me just introduce myself to anyone who's never seen one of my shows before. Welcome back to Earth. Where, where have you been? I, I want to clarify to any of the, uh, the locals in the audience today, I'm not related in any way to Mr. Dawood Hussein. <laughs> Unless my father did a short contract in Kuwait before getting married. But listen, we're, uh, I'm very, very honored and pleased to welcome all of you to this show today. I'm just really privileged that of all the comedy clubs in Dahran today, you came to ours. <laughs> so, thank you so much. One minute, one minute. Guys, they get sarcasm. It's okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Bless them. Some of them were new to the stage today. They weren't quite sure how to aim the comedy, you know? So, good, good. We're educated crowd today, so we're good. <laughs> So here we are. Can you believe it's a, a year and a half since the last Rahman and Friends almost? Huh? Have you missed me? Did you miss me? <laughs> so here we are. Um, a year and a half older, wiser, <laughs> fatter. <laughs> but uh, I'm very, 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 very pleased to see you. Uh, I work for Aramco, for those who don't know. I'm uh, training technical support department. Uh, I have to say that. My boss is here today. <laughs> Hello, Abu Rahman. How are you doing, sir? Good. May I just say, you're looking wonderful today, thank you. <laughs> I know the PMP ratings have been done, but if you could just please, please, huh? <laughs> it would be nice. <laughs> but uh, it's really a pleasure to have you all here today. Um, it's, it's always one guarantee you have with the Aramco audience is, mashallah, mashallah, you're all very nice looking. All of you have made a great, great attempt to look nice today and do the part, you know? I just, I know the spotlight's in my eyes, I can see some of the day. Ladies, mashallah, mashallah, looking very good. The guys, even the guys have made an effort. And, and even you with the bold head and the cute little moustache, you look cute, quite cute. You know? Yes, you, madam, I'm talking to you. <laughs> She's turning around, who, me? <laughs> no, no, this is, and you know, hopefully we, uh, we've got a great lineup for you today. I am very, very confident to say that this, in my humble opinion, is the strongest stand-up comedy lineup you will have ever seen in Saudi Arabia. 
We've chosen every single person so carefully. I hope by the end of the show, you will agree with me, okay? Um, we talked about sarcasm at the beginning of the show. Not, it's, it's typically British humor. Sarcasm is used as a big weapon of choice in British humor. Any of my British colleagues in today? British Ooh. Co Ooh, yes, we've got a few more than yesterday. Hiya, where are you all from? Whereabouts in Britain? Kent, the Garden of England, down south. All right. I'm from London, by the way. Um, you, you, you'll be able to tell the British people in the audience because every sentence begins with the word sorry. Uh, so, they love saying sorry. I think there's a little bit of thinking space before starting the sentence. Sorry. They, they, say, they even say sorry before they thank you. <laughs> sorry, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> they even do it before say, uh, uh, thanking people uh, or, or apologizing. Sorry, I just want to say thank you. <laughs> and um, I think British people, I, we've got a lot of people from the Indian subcontinent here today, right? India, Pakistan. On behalf of all of us, I'd like to say to the British, it's okay, you left us 60 years ago. You can stop apologizing now. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> you may not have noticed we're doing rather well without you. <laughs> no, no, we're all welcome. Just kidding. We're all, we're all very, very welcome here. Um, I know that we're having a little bit of stress in this region at the moment, aren't we? Not, not, not interesting times, but I've told the guys, really, to stay clear of politics. As, as the director, producer, and owner of the show, I know that the buck stops at me, so I have advised the guys, look, politics, let's stay clear. People, you know, you know going through a hard time. And the guys all, you know, mashallah, they were very, very respectful. They said, okay, Rahman, we will stay clear of politics, no problem, but we have to have Gaddafi. <laughs> okay? Give us... <laughs> You take all the politics, we take Gaddafi, okay? <laughs> so if you do get a few zenga zengas today, please. <laughs> don't, please don't blame me, all right? Um, and, and, and I'm talking about sarcasm itself. Like I said, not everyone gets sarcasm. I actually went to America for the very first time in my life uh, this summer. And uh, that was great, fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. Honestly, I really enjoyed it. I must say, I was a little bit worried going through customs. You know, a person born in Pakistan, raised in the UK, living in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> What's the chances of me getting stopped? But mashallah, I went through and there was smiles. You know, they, they said, right, welcome to America. There you go, sir. I thought, what do you mean go through? I'm a stand-up comedian. I need material. <laughs> Don't just go through. <laughs> But I, I needn't have worried because my, my uh, we all went through and my son was in a bit of a stroppy mood, <laughs> looking like... So he said, okay, sir, would you mind stepping aside? <laughs> so obviously my, my 18-year-old son um, went in the room and I went with him. And I'm, I'm coaching him. Do not say anything. Just answer the question. Yes, no, and please try to smile, Bibi. I know it's difficult for an 18-year-old son to smile. Why are teenagers so depressed all the time? Huh? They love it when they're talking to each other. When the sons are talking to parents, that's it. I ain't in the street, uh, whatever, whatever. So then my son's like this, he's going through the mood in the airport. And I say to him, I said, don't say anything already. So the guy asks him the first question. Uh, he says, what's your name? He says, what's he? He says, um, do you, have you served in any military? And you know what my son said? <laughs> Instead of the obvious answer, which would be yes or no, he says, which military? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! You've not served in any military. Why are you quantifying the question? <laughs> but luckily, they let us, they let us go. And uh, we got into New York. And I went to, obviously, I, I love watching comedy wherever I go. So I went to a comedy club, which is around the corner. And I discovered big time that the Americans don't get sarcasm because the lady sold me the ticket. She goes, sir, I'm well sorry, but you, uh, we don't have printed tickets. So you're just going to have to remember your number. And I said, Okay, that's cool. So here I am focusing. Sorry, right, give me the number. Give me the number. I'm going to commit it to my memory. So she said, it's ticket number. You ready for this? One, two, three. <laughs> and with my typical British sarcasm, I said to her, oh my God, how the hell am I going to remember that? <laughs> and she looked all concerned. She goes, oh my God, oh, well, you could put it on your phone or something? <laughs> and then I realized, <laughs> do not try sarcasm in, in America. Um, but for those of you, is anyone here really honestly attending a comedy show for the very first time in their lives? A live comedy show? There must be a few of you local people, huh? For a few of you, it must, oh yeah, a few hands going up, well done, so welcome, obviously. Um, for a few of you, it may be the first time you're leaving home. <laughs> so, welcome again. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, it's nice to have you all here. Uh, please, I wish to allay any fears that you have. This uh, show that you're going to see here today, although we have the top 
seven comedians in Saudi and Bahrain at the moment. It is fully Islamically compliant. Okay? We have to make that sure of that because we may have some people from the Haya uh, embedded in here, uh, especially given the times at the moment. For those of you who don't know what the Haya is, uh, it's the uh, Commission for the Promotion of Virtue and the Prevention of Fun, uh, uh, Vice. Okay? So they've all been checked. Thank you so much. Um, we, we, did you like the music we used for the show? The music plays a really, really big part in our shows. Uh, did you like the, the music we played at the beginning? The, the Duane and Yeah? Did anyone, can anyone tell me what the music was? Where's it from? Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers. No, Pink Panther. It's totally different. Blues Brothers. That's right. It's one of my favorite films. In fact, it's my favorite film of all time. I just love the Blues Brothers. And I've always wanted to use a theme tune from that. But my childhood, I, I grew up with TV theme tunes. I can, I can tell you all my life story through TV theme tunes. Um, I, I don't know if you want to just... Uh, let's have a little conversation in the audience. Which one is this? Huh? A car. No, which program? I heard it there somewhere. Starsky and Hutch, did I hear that? Yeah, of course. Starsky and Hutch. I used to stay up. Yeah, a clap for Starsky and Hutch. They're probably old men by now. Yeah. What a program that was, eh? Before it's time, that program. Definitely. Um, okay, let's, let's give you a little bit of a trickier one. Next theme team, please. Let's give you a bit more something to think about. Go. What's this one? What's this one? Come on. Anyone? Put your hands up if you know. Oh, someone knows that. Okay. Come, come. Yes, sir. Who's it from? Huh? Streets of San Francisco. Give that man a free shawarma. Whoa. That was a tough one. Yesterday, no one got that. No one got that. We were going for hours. Almost show finished and no one got it. <laughs> That's great. Streets of San Francisco, Carl Malden. <laughs> and listen, there are some, some theme tunes that uh, induce involuntary movement of the body. All right? Whether you want to or not, I defy you all to sit still after the first seven seconds of this theme tune. Hit it. Oh. Oh. Resist! Resist! That means, what are you sorry? Thanks, mum. <laughs> that was good. Uh, that theme tune is absolutely amazing. Away from, sorry, you, you must have said? Hawaii That's it, Hawaii Five O. Steve McGarrett with his. <laughs> that was an amazing. Pro but they don't make them like that anymore, do they? Shawarma? You want free shawarma? I'll pay it to him later, don't worry. I'll get it from you. Yeah, I stand by my promises. Sir, just meet me in the back afterwards, I'll give you a free shawarma. There's no innuendo in that at all. <laughs> So what we're going to do is that, um, I, I, you know what, I think I'm entertaining the over 40s today, aren't I? <laughs> this, this, but don't, don't worry, this show is not just for the over 40s. All the, all the young kids are sitting there going, WTH? I can't do a comedy show, what the hell is whoa, happening? Whoa, whoa, this whoa, is the whoa, kind of music whoa, 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 whoa. that I enjoy. Mr. Doctor, Mr. Doctor. Sorry? Look at them, man, they're going to go to sleep. No, they're not. Yes, they play, you play them, they're your music. Let, you can do better? Yeah, man, you bet. Let's play you some of our music. Take the stage. Me. Don't worry. DJ. Uh. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black and friends. Who's on? Part three, hope you enjoy yeah. the show. Uh, uh. Come on. Hip hop, yes, there was Joe over here. Where? Come for your mind to open your ears. Uh. See shit's going on, ladies be kicking it, you know how it is. Some seeds be spitting it, fix them on the house. So get the ring phone when your hip shit is on, let me see you sing along. Key City, buddy, be universal to get your ass over and so with your eyes on me. Cause I'm a VFB, you're not a MVP, uh. we uh. the East Side sector, blowing the scales of Rector. Hip hop gadgets, boom, me hip hop suspector. This is how we be holding what? it down, cause when they let sound is moving. Move the cross, Nick, uh, move uh, that Chris Ross. Well, let me see you, Chris Ross. It's the boss. Well, show, yeah. show them how it goes. Yeah. Uh, uh. You know we gon' body like it's 95. What? Play some make killer bees and vibes. Yeah. We're pretty girls, uh. we gon' dance all night. What? We all start till 6, six in, in the morning. morning. Now we gon' body like it's 95. What? 
Let's make you the reason why Pretty girls, we gon' dance all night uh, uh, We won't stop till six, six in the morning Six in the morning Oh, still, still rolling, rolling. Word is rolling uh, But it function, yeah. you're rolling the crowd You're holding Word, make sure they're calling Never the start, make a way to the top Let's start with uh, uh, on the mission uh, See from the mission In every corner, you see a freestyle uh, session The noise is loud yeah. Notes on the couch See it written as it is out Get the worst myth, no doubt You know this kid be like Word. going Word. all out that's Nikki, if he no pity uh, No sympathy, an expert to rest with your Entity, the word. divine symphony Come up here with me, me. Wait till it be so, watch it G Raising souls, you see uh, High and naughty like we <laughs> Now we gon' party like it's 95 Let's make you the peace and vibe yeah. Pretty girls, we gon' dance uh, all night uh, We won't uh, stop till 6 in the morning uh, Now we gon' party like it's 95 Let's make you the peace and vibe yeah. Pretty girls, we gon' dance uh, all night uh, uh, we won't uh, stop till six in the morning. We dancing, hey. we partying, hey. we about to show the people how uh, we do it then. Yeah. It's a party, relax your mind, go with the flow, come on and move your body. Hey. As long as the music on, only God can stop me. Hey. After six is the after party, hey. Let's party like it's nine to five. Uh, uh, we got the girls and boys, we're keeping yeah. it wild. Uh, yeah. Move them hips, then move, move them shoulders. And we won't stop till they say it's over, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These folks spam it up yeah. today. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Hope you're enjoying the show. Enjoying the show. Yeah. Let me hear you say yeah. Thank yeah. Don't uh, make it, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, we gon' party like it's 95. Place a make killer bees and vibes. Yeah. Pretty girls, we gon' dance all night. Uh, we won't stop till 6 in the morning. No, we gon' party like it's 95. Place a make killer bees and vibes. Yeah. Pretty girls, we gon' dance all night. Uh, we won't stop till 6 in the morning. Won't stop. 6 in the morning. Never stop. 6 in the morning. Won't stop. 6 in the morning. Who's ready to party 6 in the morning, y'all? Yeah. 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 Are you ready to party? Uh, uh, Drink some rum on. Thank you very much indeed. That was East Coast Family. Keep it going, East Coast Family.